Let's uh, let's do it. Start program. Hmm. Even the military uses games for training now, huh? I guess I can give it a try. Hmm. Enhance your intelligence and take your skills to the next level. <laughs> Justice is here to support your every endeavor. Your head may be empty now, but we're going to change that. Now let's get started initializing the aircraft test maniac level. Oh, so that's why he knew so much stuff. Answer five questions correctly to complete this level. One wrong answer and you will fail instantly. How are the telephones on international flights connected to the ground? Um, satellite? Correct. Recently, internet connection services have been implemented. They also link to a satellite that connects them to the ground. What is the lifespan of a standard aircraft? Fuck, I don't know. Ten years? Damn. Correct. That doesn't give new aircraft enough time to pay for it themselves. Consider the financial risks. Okay. Game over. Don't give up. Try again. Okay, so it's 20 or 30 years. Correct. When maintenance becomes more expensive than a replacement, aircraft are put to rest with perfect maintenance. Some can keep flying for 50 years. Damn. What's the name of the aircraft check in which every part is disassembled? Uh... The D check? Correct. Maintenance checks are ranked from A to D. The D check involves docking the aircraft for one month and takes a very long time. Wow, they stripped the, the entire plane? The accidents are most likely to occur is called the critical. Critical 11 minutes. Correct. The critical 11 minutes accidents usually happen in the three minutes after takeoff and eight before landing. This is the time when concentration and care are most required. How thick is the thickest part of the outer wall of the aircraft body? Um... Then enough to see. It's probably two centimeters. No? Incorrect. This isn't an armored aircraft. Oh. So there's no need to go overboard. Consider that aircraft are game over. You know, if I thought about it some more, this probably would have made the most sense, but two millimeters seems really, really thin. Correct. Made from titanium and aluminum. It's designed to resist internal pressure. The minimum thickness is one millimeter. Surprisingly thin, isn't it? Yes. All questions in the aircraft test maniac level have been answered correctly. Congratulations. Alright, cool. I'm glad it wasn't a super long one like the one Philip gave us. And all I got was a stupid costume. However, we're only just getting started. Now we will proceed to the aircraft test geek level it will initialize as soon as you are ready oh fuck me let's do it initializing the aircraft test geek level answer five questions correctly to complete this level one wrong answer and you will fail instantly what are fixed wings that have no propulsion called uh i think gliders glinders that's not right Correct. Space shuttles also land using gliding. What does VTOL stand for? Vertical takeoff and landing is probably the one that makes the most sense. Correct. These aircraft can take off or land in narrow places and can fly higher and longer than helicopters. They're mainly military now, but civilians model. Research is underway. What is the name given to the type of stunt flying that was popular in the 1920s? I wonder if, um, if this is really just for fun. I understand why these are all questions related to aircraft, since this entire first and second episode seemed to take place on a, on a fucking plane. But Correct. They pulled off all sorts of dangerous stunts, including tennis on the wings. How is a jet engine ignited? But why is this a thing? Like... Seriously, why is this a thing? Damn it. Incorrect. It would be a massive waste to add secondary engines just for ignition. You can see the heat from these things when the aircraft are in the airport. Okay, then it's a secondary engine. Correct. You can see the heat from them when the aircraft are in the airport. They create compressed air which activates the main engine. How does a helicopter land safely if the engine is damaged? Oh, <laughs> pray to God. 
Alright then, if it's not emergency engine- Oh, I don't know why it was- Why, um, why I thought emergency engine reactivation was a- was even a thing. Correct. Downward airflow is used to turn the rotors and gently descend. It's the same principle behind a leaf that rolls down to the ground. All questions in the aircraft test kit level have been answered correctly. Congratulations. You are very well informed. <laughs> not really. If, if an engine is damaged and you reactivate it, it's still damaged. It's not going to save you. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just, I just want this to be over as soon as but possible. But we are finished yet. Now, it's time for the last section of the aircraft test. The cult level will begin as soon as you are ready. Ah, uh, sure. I wonder how long this one's gonna be. Starting the aircraft test cult level, please answer within 5 seconds. 10 correct answers in a row are required. Which gas is used in modern airships? Uh, helium? Correct. Gases that might explode are never used. How much water is used in a single? Flush of a passenger toilet. Um, probably 20 cc. Damn it. Sorry. It came over. Uh, probably 200. Correct. Of course, the waste is stored in a tank rather than being ejected outside. Yeah, that'd be seriously what gross. What propulsion when a jet aircraft is on the runway? Um, tire motors, jet engine thrust, jet engine thrust. Correct. A tow truck is used to go backward or move very slowly. Who made the first successful solo transatlantic air crossing in 1927? Well, I know this for sure. Lindbergh. Correct. He also crossed the Pacific in 1931. What time is the cockpit clock set to? Um, Green, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Correct. The time difference is always accounted for during flights. Why is a choke used instead of brakes in order to keep the aircraft stationary? Uh, temperature on landing not required. It's a waste of resources? Correct. If brakes were applied, the temperature would cause the discs and pads to melt. Oh yeah, it'd be extremely Why hot. Why do cabin attendants give out candy during the flight? Cleaning out your ears, delicious treat. Damn it. Sorry, incorrect. Clearing your ears with candy? Correct. Building up saliva and then swallowing is one way oh. to clear your ears. Oh, okay. Why is the cockpit on the second floor in a jumbo jet? I have no idea. Safety probably. Damn it. Sorry, incorrect. Okay, is this it? it allows for use as a cargo plane? Correct. In a cargo plane, the entire body is used as cargo space. Uh, Why do airplanes have round windows? Mm, strength, probably. Correct. Corners create focal points for stress, which can create cracks. Which aircraft can take off and land from a runway and go into space? Oh shit, space cruiser, space plane, I don't know what this is, so this is probably the right answer. No. Fuck. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, so it's a space plane. Correct. We've already moved beyond the airplanes and into space. All questions correct. Congratulations. You have correctly answered all the questions. Uh I officially do not like these quizzes. No, no.